I can't say that I knew I was going to be here because I just, I don't know where I'm going to be in the future. I'm just going and going and, you know, you see what happens as you go. Yeah. I mean, do you have aspirations for where you want to be? Like, if I ask you where you want to be in six months, where you want to be in a year, five years? I, I mean, I could tell you where I want to be, but, <laughs> see, I, I move in silence. I'd rather keep that, you know, to <laughs> myself. I, what I can tell you is that I know that, um, I do know that, Wherever God want to want me to be at in life, that's where I'm gonna be. You know what I'm saying? And it can't nobody stop that. Like, believe that. If I said Grammy, what would you say to that? Oh, it's in the future. Believe that. <laughs> yeah, it's in the future. It's in the near future. Was there any moment in the past that kind of like let you know, like set you on this course? Like you were saying, you kind of got stalled. You were doing videos and you know mm -hmm. things happening in your life. Was there any moment like afterwards where you were like, you know, reset? Like, yo, I can do this. Like, um, I think, I think. I think everybody sometimes get kind of um, discouraged. Discouraged. Yeah. I mean, but like I said before, man, it's nothing. No matter how much they say, no matter how much they hate, it's nothing or nobody, not a soul in this world, can stop what's for you. And that's just what it is. And it's way easier to go through life knowing that as long as I hustle. And knowing my heart that, you know what I'm saying, that I'm gonna be straight. And that's all. That's what it is. So, what's next for you, man? Well, we, I got the album, Testimony. It's dropping April 15th. Um, and it's basically, my album is called Testimony. You know, usually when somebody gives a testimony, you, the next person is inspired by, uh, like, usually they inspired or intrigued or motivated by your story. And, um, that's what it is, like this album made for me, man. It's for the people, it's for everybody stuck in the struggle, everybody stuck in the hood. And I, I dedicated it to the, to the hood, hoping that I can inspire you a few people. So April 15th, which is my, um, April, you see that? That's it, 415, 86 right there. My oldest brother got killed a few years ago. And I honestly can say that that's the reason I'm here. Because, and, and it's bittersweet, more bitter than sweet, of course. And I would give all this shit up to get my brother back, but that was a wake up call for me. Like, man, cause you know, you look at your oldest brother like a protector. Yeah. And, and it's like, nobody could have ever told me a nigga would kill my brother. Yeah. And for that to happen, it's like, I gotta switch some shit up. I gotta, I gotta change my life. And I just started, you know, putting all my focus into, into the music. Yeah. I mean, kids have a lot of rappers to look up to. Are you trying to be like that singer for them to look up to? You know what? I, I'm real cautious with that because I'm nobody's role model. I'm 21, man, trying to find my own way in life, uh, going down my own path, and it, that's a that's a whole lot for for a young nigga. It's like you know, usually when you're born, you're born into something. You're born into you know, like if your 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 pops is something great, he's a a uh, doctor, a lawyer, whatever, and they're like, oh, your, your father, he was so great. Hey, you know, I didn't have that. My pops was a crackhead. My pops dead now, so I got to find my own way, and, and the only nigga that I was looking up to was my big brother. They killed him, so I'm out here on my own, and I'm just trying to figure it all out, you know. Just, yeah. yeah. Has there been any, you know, you kind of like your own way to make it, but have there been any unexpected obstacles, like shit that came up that you, you know, people think like, oh, you made it in music, like it's gonna be gravy from here. Not at all, it's not gravy, man. And that's what a lot of people get twisted. Perception is reality for a lot of people. They think because you got a video on TV, you doing this, you a rich ass nigga. No, it's not true. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a whole lot that go into it. People don't, understand that as long as you grinding look how long it take to get here i've been doing this shit for a long time and i'm just not getting here so all the, over that course of time think about all the money that niggas gotta spend you got to pay that back at some point so it's like you know i i i, I don't know if people really it realize how much 
a nigga put into it and how many obstacles can come in your way. But like I said, it's way easier to go through life knowing that King of Soul touched me in this world because what's for me is for me.